So this is a 1952 Supra Ozark. I'm gonna do a little video overview of the actual guitar later, but I just wanna play a couple chords here, see what it sounds like. speaker and a Carolina Haymaker. Um, all these knobs are turned all the way up. I don't play a lot of slide. I'll try to play slide and just kind of do a little demo here. Man, this thing. If you can play slide, this thing's going to be rad. strips right and the buttons are um, some of them kind of starting to get a little weak um, the paint finish on the neck just has this real cool uh, patina it's got kind of a little chunk missing here a couple of gouges here that's the beautiful mother of toilet seat finish which is actually in really um, really good shape given the fact that this guitar is 70, 70 years old. So it's a boomer. Um, missing a knob. It's got another old knob on it off of some other old guitar. Um, it was probably also a super it doesn't really fit. It's got kind of a trapeze tail piece here and a probably rosewood bridge. The pickup is probably the main selling point of this thing. Pickup is freaking rad. Um, I don't know what's under all this kind of, uh, it's almost, it's got like a cushiony kind of texture. Um, and then the headstock logo. 
Uh, overall, this guitar is in really good shape. I had a friend of mine who is a tech. He lubricated all the tuners. They work smooth. He set it up. He polished the frets. Uh, he did a bunch of other stuff to it. Um, it weighs very little. Um, and it just rips. I mean, it's just a really cool guitar. It's got this funky uh, output jack that is it's just weird. Um, it's like that. And you have to have this kind of cable, but have an adapter that comes with it that allows you to use any kind of just regular quarter inch cable. Um, a lot of these guitars have been kind of hacked up to use a regular quarter inch, but this one's still all original. I got this guitar from the daughter of the original owner. Uh, the original owner did not play guitar, but she had all these pictures of her mom. This was her mom's guitar. And she played it in like one of these country and western radio bands where they would all wear like big 10 gallon hats and matching like uh, leather jackets with like the fringe on them. It's just so freaking cool. Um, back in the 50s and they were like a gospel country act um, and then this guitar just sat around you know for like 40 or 50 years um, I've had it for three or four years now and um, I am, have to part ways because my wife wants to go to England and I have to buy plane tickets so there it is